Hello dear learners, I am Antora Mohanto Borwa, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics, HBC School of Science and Technology. Today, in this video class, we will discuss about the combinational circuits. This unit belongs to the second block of digital techniques paper of first semester BCA program. This unit includes uh, about the introduction of combinational logic circuits. Then we shall discuss some examples of combinational logic circuits like multiplexer and demultiplexer encoder and decoder and then we shall discuss about the adder and subtractor. So first let us see what is combinational logic circuit. A combinational logic circuit includes inputs then logic gates and outputs. The output is depend on the present inputs values and uh, it does not have any memory and uh, if there are n numbers of inputs, then output uh, will be uh, 2 to the power n. Of course, this is a combinational logic circuit. It has n inputs, n inputs, and m numbers of outputs. So, uh, if there are n numbers of inputs, then the total combinations, possible combinations of inputs will be 2 to the power n combinations. And uh, suppose uh, n equal to 2, then total possible combinations will be 2 to the power 2 equal to 4. So, 4 numbers of inputs will be there. And the, uh, there will be m outputs so output is depends on the present inputs then let us see some examples of combinational circuits some examples of combinational logic circuits are multiplexer demultiplexer then uh, encoder decoder then adder and subtractor so, uh, multiplexer and demultiplexer are the very important combinational circuits and uh, let us first see what is multiplexer. So, multiplexer is a combinational circuit which uh, accepts many inputs and uh, it gives only one output. It is also known as many to one. So, multiplexer is uh, also called as a data selector because uh, it selects uh, only one input out of uh, several input signals to single output. So first uh, let us see what is multiplexer. So, multiplexer, it, this is the block diagram. It has n inputs and one output. and m numbers of control lines so what is the relation between input and the control line is sub n equal to 2 to the power m that means if number of input lines is 2 then number of control lines m will be 1 because uh, 2 is equal to 2 to the power 1 so m will be 1 this uh, control line or we can say selector line it will be 1 when input is 2 again if we consider input is 4 that means 4 numbers of input signals applied to a multiplexer then number of uh, control lines will be 2 because 2 to the power 2 will be 4. So similarly the uh, some examples of multiplexers are 2, 2, 
one multiplexer, then four, two, one multiplexer, then eight, two, one, or sixteen, two, one multiplexers. Here output is always one. So uh, in multiplexer. Uh, the selector inputs uh, determines uh, the outputs. So, uh, for in this uh, case, uh, we check uh, about the four is to one multiplexer. So, first let us see the four to one multiplexer. So uh, now let us see the four to one multiplexer. That means four means there are four input lines, uh, and uh, here we will use uh, the four N gates. These are the outputs of the end gates. Here we add a OR gate. So output is Y. As uh, here the control line will be 2. Suppose A and B are the control lines. And the inputs are uh, suppose data inputs D0. These are the four inputs D0, D1, D2, then D3. And A and B are the control lines, suppose A and B. Here, a NOT gate is given. So how we apply the inputs to these gates, let us save it from the truth table. Suppose A, B and output is Y. So for two bits, the input combinations will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, then 1, 1. So first a and B is 0, 0. That means in the first gate, this NOT gate is 0, then B is 0. This will be the input. In the second case, 0, 1. That means A is 0. So from this line, then B is 1. So from this line. Here, both the inputs is 1, 1. And we apply a NOT gate to make it a 0 input. Next combination is 1 and 0. That means A is 1. So here this is the line 1. Then B is 0. So it should be from the NOT gate. And the fourth combination is 1, 1. That both inputs A and B are 1. So from this line and this line. And output is when the inputs A and B is 0, the D0 output is selected. That means the other three AND gates are disabled and the first AND gate is enabled. So in the output of the OR gate, it will be data 0. And for the second combination, the output will be D1. That means the Y is the value of D1 input line. Then 1, 0, it will be D2. And for 1, 1 combination, output will be D3. So this is the truth table of 4 to 1 multiplexer. And this is the logic circuit diagram for 4 to 1 multiplexer. 4 means there will be 4 data inputs. So we have to draw 4 AND gates. And each data input is, uh, 4 input is applied to each AND gate. And the selector line or the control lines will be 2. So A and B are the control line. And we write the combinations for 2 inputs. Then accordingly we given the, the this N gates accepts the 
input combinations and output is uh, that means it selects only one input line at a time so this is about one to uh, sorry four to one multiplexer so multiplexers are used in various fields where multiple data need to be uh, transmitted using single line some applications of multiplexers are communication system in uh, telephone network computer memory etc next we will see the demultiplexer combinational circuit in demultiplexer it uh, accepts only one input and it gives several outputs so demultiplexer is also called one to many so similar to the multiplexer demultiplexers can be 1 to 2 1 to 4 1 to 8 or 1 to 16 demultiplexer so now let us see the logic circuits and truth table of demultiplexer this is a block diagram of demultiplexer it has one input signals and many output lines and m is the number of control lines if the output line is n then the input uh, control lines will be 2 to the power m so in case of 1 to 4 demultiplexer that means output lines will be 4 so the input control lines or the selection lines it will be 2 so m is 2 now we see the logic diagram and the truth table of the multiplexer 1 to 4 since uh, output is 4 so there is 4 and gates suppose output is y0 y1 y2 y3 and one input that means suppose this is the d input d is data input and it applies to all the and gates then in case of 1 to 4 demultiplexer there is two selection lines suppose a and b uh, not gate is applied so let us first see the output uh, truth table that is a b and four outputs so four outputs is y0 y1 y2 and y3 first combination is 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 then 1 1 so when the input is 0 0 that means this 0 0 then the output this D is selected at the uh, output of the first AND gate. So Y0 will be D here. So what is the value is applied to the input that is reflect on the output of the first AND gate. And the other AND gate are disabled. And the rest of the output of the AND gates are 0, 0. For the second combination that is 0, 1. Here it is 0 then next is 1 then the output of y1 takes the data input so d is here if d is 1 we can write here 1 1 and rest of the outputs are 0 0 for the third combination 1 0 that means a is 1 and b is 0 for this combination the output is reflected on the y2 that is output of the third end gate and the for last combination that is 1 1 1 1 the other three outputs is 0 here it is 0 and it is 1 so this is the logic proof table of 1 to 4 demultiplexer 
so what is the value of input it reflects on the outputs for other cases it is zero similarly same concept we can uh, draw the 8 or uh, 1 to 8 d multiplexer or 1 to 16 d multiplexer or we can uh, draw the 1 to 2 d multiplexer so i have uh, shown the 1 to 4 d multiplexer so now Demultiplexer is used to connect a single source to multiple destinations. Some of the applications of demultiplexer are the communication system, arithmetic logic unit, serial to parallel converter. In demultiplexer receiver, the output signals of multiplexer and uh, converts them back to the original form of the data at the receiver end. Multiplexer and demultiplexer work together to carry out the process of transmission and reception of data in communication system. Next, we shall see the encoder and decoder combinational circuit. Now, we will see the encoder combinational logic circuits. Here, the encoder is octal to binary encoder logic circuits. We will see. Uh, here, if 2 to the power n is the inputs, then output will be n, n outputs. So, in the uh, block diagram, the block diagram of the encoder is like this. So, this is an encoder. If 2 to the power n inputs, then uh, n numbers of outputs. So, it is 2 to the power n into n encoder. And here, uh, if this 2 to the n is equal to 3, then uh, 2 to the power n is 8. So, this encoder will be uh, 8 into 3 encoder. Three output lines and eight numbers of input lines. Encoder is generally used to encode the inputs, encode the informations. Now let us see the logic circuits and the truth table of 8 into 3 encoder. This encoder is just a opposite of decoder. First we will uh, see the logic truth table. First we will see the truth table. That is the inputs are 8 inputs. So I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7. And outputs are given as O0, O1, O2. So here it is. O0, O1, O2. So uh, first suppose the first input is high that means 1 is applied to the first input and the rest of the inputs are 0. So in case of encoder at a time only one input is high. Then what will be the outputs? This uh, output will be 0, 0, 0. Then for the next input, 1, rest of the inputs are 0. Output is. Now, this is the truth table of 8 into 3 encoder. Here, what, uh, what it is given, that means at a time, at only one input signal is high and for the outputs will be uh, similarly these are the outputs of the encoder so what we have seen the output o0 that means first output is one uh, when the i4 i5 i6 and i7 is one then output o0 that means first output is high and for the other cases the output is zero 
again the output second output that means O1 uh, what it is saying this this output is high when uh, the input I1 then I3 and I6 uh, and I7 is high so the output equations can be written as uh, O0 equal to when O0 is high when I4 I4 plus I5 then I6 and I7 then for the next output O1 when this output is high uh, first I2 plus next is I3 plus here for this combination I6 and for the last combination it is I7 and uh, for O2 it is 1 when I1 is high next is 1 when I3 is high plus next one I5 is high and it is one when I7 is high so this is the equations of output three outputs O0, O1 and O2 now uh, this is the truth table now we uh, draw the logic circle diagram of the 8 into 3 encoder uh, here uh, three outputs so these are the combinations so here they all are classed in the inputs so we used three OR gates and in the three OR gates output is O0, O1 and O2 and here one unable input that, that means to unable the chip a uh, chip unable input is applied and this unable input is applied to all the four uh, all the three OR gates now for uh, O0 what are the inputs I4, I5, I6 and I7 so here uh, as I0 is uh, not uh, when I0 is high no one output is high so I have not given here I0 I have uh, started from I1 so for output O0 this I4 I4 then I5 then I6 and I7 so these are the inputs for O0 then for the second uh, output O1 what are the inputs I1, I3, I6 and I7 uh, I2 first is I2 So here it is I2, then I3, I3, I6, here we have given then I7, so these are the I7, so 3, uh, 4 inputs, then uh, for O2 combinations, the input combinations are I1, this is the I1, I1 then I3 here already this drawn I3 I3 I5 I5 and I7 so I7 so this is the logic uh, circuit for 8 into 3 and pull down So I think it is clear now. Again I am repeating. First you uh, draw the truth table for 8 into 3 encoder. There are 8 inputs. So I have marked here I1, I, I0 to I7 and 3 outputs O0, O1 and O2. 
and at a time it is assumed that at a time only one input is high so accordingly this truth table has been drawn here and uh, when the output is one we have checked the inputs so when uh, output o0 is high the this this inputs are high so we have combined it added it and then we get the three outputs so this is the logic uh, diagram of 8 into 3 encoder next we will see the decoder circuit now we discuss about the decoder combinational circuit so a decoder is a combinational logic circuit that receives coded information of n input lines and converts them to maximum of 2 to the power n unique output lines so decoder is functions just opposite to a encoder and the decoder outputs will have less than 2 to the power n outputs when some of the n bits decoded informations are unused or are do not care combinations now we see the block diagram truth table and logic circuit of decoder so now uh, this is a block diagram of n2 to 2 to the power n decoder here n numbers of inputs then it decodes to 2 to the power n outputs if n is 3 that is 3 inputs then output will be 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 so 8 outputs it is marked as o0 o1 to o7 so it is a 3 into 8 decoder now we see the logic circuit and the truth table so since there is a three inputs a b c these are the three inputs and outputs are o0 o1 o2 o3 o4 o5 o6 and o7 so for the three inputs what are the combinations first is 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 so when all the three inputs are 0 then the output O0 is selected so this is 1 and the rest of the outputs are 0 when uh, the input 0 0 1 is selected O1 output is 1 the others are 0 for the third case O2 output is selected for the fourth case output O3 is selected and for the last combinations when all the inputs is high then output I7 is high so this is the truth table for 3 into 8 decoder so these are the inputs and these are the outputs so now we uh, see the logic diagram for 3 into 8 decoder so now uh, since there are 8 outputs 8 numbers of n gates will be there and uh, the three inputs a b c are the three inputs and it's uh, complemented with the by using the not gate so for the first combinations 0 0 0 that means when all the three inputs a b c are 0 that means this one this one and this one 0 then output of the first and gate that is o 0 is high it is selected for the second case uh, 0 0 1 that means a is 0 a is 0 b is 0 here b is 0 then c is high so this is the high line then for the third case b is high a and c is low so a is low b is high and c is low for the fourth b and c is high a is low so 
so A is low, B is high and C is high. So this is the C is high. For the next case when output O4 is high then uh, the A is high then the rest B and C is 0. So A is high so this one is high line and B and C is low. Then uh, A and C is high. So here A is high, B is low and C is high. Then for the sixth uh, output here the combination is A and B is high. So this is high A. Then B this line is high. And C is low. So this is the C low line. And for the last end gate that means for O7 output all the three inputs are high. So this is A high line then uh, B is high and C is high. So this is the uh, logic circuit for 3 into 8 decoder. So 3 means 3 inputs A, B, C and 8 means 8 decoded outputs so O0 to O7. So first you draw the truth table uh, by using this combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So all these uh, 8 combinations are there and then the 8 outputs eh, O0 to O7 uh, are given here. That means uh, the output only one end gate output is high at a time and the rest of the other uh, output of the end gates is 0. So this is a 3 logic circuit of 3 into 8 decoder. So if the function of decoder is just opposite to the encoder. Now the decoder is used in some code conversion circuits for example BCD to uh, 7 segment decoder. So a 3 to 8 line decoder circuit can be used uh, in binary to octal conversion. And the decoder is also used uh, in some uh, code conversion, for example, BCD to 7 segment decoder. And uh, another use of a decoder is that it can be used uh, to implement any combinational logic circuit. So, uh, we have uh, discussed about the 3 to 8 decoder. Next, we see the combinational circuit of adder and subtractor. So first adder means uh, there are two types of adder, one is half adder and the other is full adder. And uh, first uh, let us see a half adder. Half adder is a combinational circuit that performs the addition of two bits. So in this logic circuit two binary inputs and two binary outputs are required. Now uh, let us see the block diagram of a half adder. So, this is a half adder so two inputs two outputs suppose a and b are the inputs and s and c is the output so here the output s equal to a b bar plus a bar b and c is also known as carry s is known as sum and c is known as carry so carry is a into b now from this uh, sum equations uh, the truth table will be a b then s and c so the truth table of the half header for the two inputs a b that means 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so these are uh, adder so uh, 0 and 0 is added so when 0 plus 0 we get a 0 0 plus 1 the output sum is 1 
1 plus 0 is 0 sorry 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 so other carries 0 now the logic circuit of a half header is uh, for two inputs that is a and b then two n gates and the output of the two n gates are added so there is a one or gate this is the s, s input uh, sorry s output and the other is c carry output so here the input is a then a not and b and b not so for the first case when 0 0 that means uh, a 0 and b 0 for the second 0 1 so 0 uh, when output is high uh, so sum is when sum is high when the combination is 0 1 so we have to put 0 and 1 for the next case the sum is high when the input combination is 1 0 so this is 1 and this is 0 so output is uh, a b bar plus b, a bar b and in the next case the c carry it is a into b so a is a high b high carry is 1 here a high and b high so this is a half header half header logic circuit so what is a half header logic circuit half header logic circuit is a uh, combination logic circuit which added two bits and it gives two outputs two bits with a and b and s outputs are sum and carry so sum equations is a b bar plus a bar b and carry it is the uh, output is a, a into b so in the truth table for two bits the four combinations are there and the output sum is high when any of the input is high and when both the inputs are equal that means either it is zero or it is one then the sum output is zero and for the carry output when both the inputs are one then the output is high so this is the logic circuit for half adder next we will see a full adder so now uh, we will discuss about the full adder combinational circuit a full adder combinational circuit is a uh, circuit which added three bits binary signals or binary inputs and there are two outputs sum and carry uh, it consists the three input uh, consists a and b which we have already seen in case of half header and the third input is the carry which is coming from the lower order bits when multi bit addition is performed so in case of a full adder two of the input variables suppose a and b represents the two significant bits to be added and the third variable that is c which is represent to carry from the previous lower significant position and the output variables that is s which gives the value of the least significant bit of the sum and the output variable c which is uh, which gives the output carry now let us see the truth table and the logic circuit of a full adder so uh, here a uh, full adder this is a block diagram three inputs a b and c and two outputs s and c sum and carry the outputs sum it is represent as the uh, relation by this eh? that means a bar b bar c plus a bar b c bar plus a b bar c bar plus a b c 
and the equation of the carry that is C is A B plus B C plus C A. And here the truth table uh, here is three inputs A B C and the combinations it is written like this. And uh, for the sum when A 0 0 that means 0 plus 0 is 0 again 0 plus 0 it is 0. Then for the next 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 plus 1 it is 1. Then 0 plus 1 1, 1 plus 0 it is 1. Then the 0 plus 1 it is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. So here the carry is 0. And for the uh, fifth combination 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. Then 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, 0 plus 0 is 0. Then 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. So this is the outputs of the full adder. What we have seen here that when any of the input is high that is 1 the output sum is high and when any of the two inputs are equal that means here 1 1 the output is low. Now we draw the logic circuits here for the first is sum S. Uh, first we have given 4 N gates then uh, because 4 terms is there and uh, 1 OR gate. So for the first combination 0 0 0 sum is 0. For the next when sum is high for the combination 0 0 1 that means A is 0 0 and C is high. For the next case uh, when 1 is high, A is 0, B is high, C is 0. A is 0, B is high and C is 0. For the next, uh, this combination, A is 1, B and C is 0. A is 1 and B and C is 0. Then, for the last combinations, all A, B, C are 1. So here, this is A high, B high and C high. So this is the logic diagram for the S output. And for the C output, that is scary when it is 1, when the combination is, so this A, B plus B, C plus C, A. These are the A, B, C. So first case, uh, when it is uh, high, that is BC, so B, uh, BC, next it is high, that means AC, so AC, then uh, it is high, uh, AC, then BC, AB, so AB. So this is the circuit for the output carry C and this is the circuit for the output sum. So now dear learners, in today's class uh, what we have discussed uh, till now, so first we have discussed the combinational logic circuit. Uh, what is a combination logic circuit? It is a circuit which consists of some interconnected set of logic gates with some input variables and output variables. And the some examples of combinational circuits we have discussed. Uh, first, uh, uh, we have discussed a multiplexer. So, a multiplexer is a combinational circuit where the binary information is selected from one of the two uh, to the power n input lines, and it is transmitted to a single output line. So if the n is a number of selection lines then uh, that uh, 2 to the power n combinations will be there. 
so multiplexer is also called many to one next we have discussed the demultiplexer so demultiplexer in the multiplexer we have discussed the one to four demultiplexer so it is a one to many and after that we have uh, gone through a uh, encoder uh, which is a combinational circuit which generates the binary code for the two n input variables that means 2 to the power n into n uh, encoder next we have uh, seen a decoder combinational circuit which receives codes information on a n input lines and transmit them to maximum of 2 to the power n unique output lines after conversion and next we have discussed the adder so there are two adders one is half adder and a full adder in the half adder it is a combinational circuit that adds two bits and next is the full adder which is used to add three bits so uh, in the next class eh, we will discuss about the subtractor and then we go to our next uh, unit eh, that is sequential logic circuit so in sequential logic circuit uh, the output is depends on the input as well as uh, the past outputs so in sequential circuit a memory uh, is used so thank you learners